Hi, good morning everyone. Welcome to the training of SAP USDB migration. In this particular training, we will be covering the different aspects of migrating an SAP system from one environment to another environment, from one database to another database, from one operating system to another operating system. So basically, let's get started with this training. So in this migration process, data is exported from the source system, which is left untouched and then transferred to the target system. So what is happening is that we are not at all modifying the source system, but we are exporting the data without touching the configuration, without touching the environment, and the data is transferred over a medium to the target system. Since the migration freezes the source system in its original state, access to the SAP applications can be restored using the source system if for some reason a problem is encountered and during the migration process. So basically we are not at all modifying the source system. So this takes away any risk with the export process. Okay, so if anything goes wrong during the migration process, we can very well start the operation from the source system. So it's basically a risk free, you can call it. Okay, in this way, the source system act as a safety net in the event that application cannot be properly validated on the target system. Okay, an initial data migration is often performed to create a test bed to evaluate the process. So before we can carry out the production migration, we go through a rigorous cycle of different iterations and tests and then only we migrate the system into different environment. So these early data migration follow the same basic procedure as the final data migration of all SAP instances. Typically the order of migration follows the order of importance of the instances. Say we start with the sandbox instances which are usually migrated first followed by training, test, quality insurance, assurance, development and finally the production instances are migrated. Okay, here this figure gives a brief overview of the OSDB migration process. So here you can see that from the source system you have the SAP data source. So this is your source system. So data is migrated via parallel export processes into a local file system which in turn is FTB to a remote file system and using parallel import process it gets imported into the SAP target database using R3 load processes. So you can see that during the entire process one of the main tool which is used is the R3 load both for the import and the export side. Okay now let's see the different system copy methods which are available. So basically there are two different ways we can perform the system copy. One in which we keep the operating system and the database same and second in which we change either the operating system or the database or we change the both. Okay, so different phases in the OSDB migration. There are five key phases involved in the OSDB migration project. We, the project is started with the preparation phase of the source system. So once the preparation is complete, the data is exported out of the source system. Data is transferred from the source system to the target system and we do the preparation steps in the target system. Once the target system is prepared, we start with the import into the target system using R3 load processes and finally we do the post processing in the target system so that it gets customized to the new OS. Okay, this is one of the sample OSDB migration plan that shows the different activities which in, is involved and which activity takes how much of time. So this is a kind of template which can be adopted in the customer's environment. Basically we start from selection process, migration planning, registration of migration in OS. So getting a new hardware, delivery of new hardware, migration material is sent to the customer, migration plan is prepared, migration checks takes place, migration toolkit is prepared, migration tests are done. So here you can see that this is the sequence of activities involving SAP as well so that SAP makes sure that the system to which you are migrating is healthy enough, is secure enough and it can take the load and any performance related items are taken care. 
So that's all pretty much I wanted to cover in this particular training session. Thank you for joining and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Bye-bye.